Hey everybody, today I wanted to share with you a Gmail trick that helps you test out Cloud Card workflows. So the problem is that uh, you have an email that you use to log into Cloud Card, um, but when you can't use that email to create a new user, you need an additional email address. Sometimes maybe you don't want to use your personal account, or maybe you just need you know more than just your personal account. You want to test out uh, Cloud Card with multiple users. So this Gmail trick uh, will help you do that. So this is my Luke at sharptop.io address. Um, I know it doesn't look like a Gmail, but it is. When I click uh, the plus sign here, I can add any characters at the end of this address to create an alias. So uh, this is only available with Gmail. Um, but when I click save here, what this is going to do is going to create a user within CloudCard, and it's going to send an email to Luke at sharptop.io. So I clicked save, uh, and I'm going to go over to my email inbox, and here's that email that just got sent uh, to me. So coming from Luke plus four six five seven three, here's the uh, the welcome email, and then of course it landed in my Luke at sharptop.io address. So really helpful. I can upload my picture, you know, from the student's perspective, test that out, as well as go back into Cloud Card. Um, and see what it looks like from the administrator perspective. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I uh, hope you can take advantage of that nifty trick.